happening. I was on the back, you know, on the back sort of step of somebody's truck. Yeah. And I was telling these other Glasgow lads about the whole thing of thinking I was dead and telling the ambulance guys that I was dead. And quite spontaneously, Maddie was just playing this little riff behind it. And it's it was a bit like the doors. It was a bit like that, um, show me the way to the next whiskey bar. You know, that kind of umpa sort of feeling. Yeah. And because she put a bit of a rhythm to it, naturally it, the story sounded like a song. But it turned into a mad song, and I ended up with loads and loads of Glaswegian pissed people, happy away, all shouting, "You were dead!" And the and the response was, "You're not dead. I am dead. You're not dead. I am dead. Don't <laughs> never tell the ambulance when you're dead. You're off your head." And it turned into a massive song, but I've never been able to remember it since. When I was about 25, no, maybe 24. Anyway, I was having a bit of a bad do. These lads tried to kill me and my brother, blah, blah, blah. I'd been awake for a few nights, I lost my house, and everything was going a bit shite. So I ate this big lump of hash thinking, oh, that'll get me to bed. It's a silly cunt. And then I must, looking back, I think I had a seizure, but what was happening in my head? Because I'd been like sleep deprived. And I was very frightened as well, so I had loads of adrenaline in my head. And I'd had a seizure in, this, in my girlfriend's bed, not, not knowing what a seizure was, because it was the first one I'd ever had. And in my tripping sort of stair, I went downstairs naked, covered in piss, and I'm saying to our James, James, Seamus, listen to me, man. And he's like, what are you doing with no clothes on your current? And I'm like, Seamus, listen, the fucking, I've died. And I was convinced that I died in this seizure and that what I'd been experiencing, the convulsions, was my soul leaving my body. So I was actually totally convinced I was dead because I was in the middle of a cannabis psychosis, not realising, after eating a massive lump of arch. <laughs> Silly bastard. So my brother's going, you haven't died. And my girlfriend and the mates are going, Chris, you haven't fucking died, mate. You're naked, you're being a bit annoying, but you're certainly not dead. And I was getting really annoyed because I'm thinking, wow, they're listening to me. Why are they denying the most spiritual experience I've ever had? I just died in that fucking bed up there. And so he said, yeah, we could hear your fucking summit were going on. We thought you were having a wank somewhere. And I'm like, no, I died. And they wouldn't have it. And then, because I got so irate with my poor brother, the poor little bastard, is putting up with me. I fucking had another seizure, that, but everybody saw me then having a fit. So they did what, they, what you'd imagine would be sensible. They got an ambulance. So i am come round from the second fit in the back of the ambulance, still convinced that I've died. So I'm like, I'm thinking they're wasting NHS resources, they could help somebody else. So I'm shouting to the driver, mate, I've died. <laughs> You're wasting petrol, don't take me to be all right. Take me to the Swiss cemetery where I used to huff the glue and I'll be all right. And I can be a ghosty and I can huff ghosty glue and it'll all be fine. And my poor brother was in the ambulance with me and I'm saying to him, James, look, you'll have to ring mum and tell her I've died. And, and he was like, oh, hold me still. And I ended up shameful to admit, but I kind of got a bit of fight, a bit fighty. I got a bit fighty with the ambulance guys, which you should never do, because fuck me, they actually save lives, man. But I was more fighty with my brother, but we did fight a lot as brothers anyway. But So they ended up strapping me to this ambulance fucking stretchy thing. And I'm there in, in Bruffer Royal Infirmary. No, yeah, it was Bruffer Royal Infirmary, and I'm there in the A&E, strapped to a stretcher, and I'm shouting at all the pissheads going, Will you show a bit of respect for the dead? I fucking died earlier, you cunts. I fucking died, I'll have you know. Then they put me onto a heart monitor, because obviously they're thinking, what is going on with this mad cunt? On the heart monitor, and after a bit of uh, calming down, then I had another fit. And the things, little things come off my chest, didn't they? So the machine went, ooh. Not because I had died, but because they came off my chest. But me, I saw that and I'm saying to the nurses, I told you, I fucking died. I fucking died. Why is no one listening to me today? I died at tea time and you're still fucking me about with this fucking heart monitor. Can I not just get a taxi or at least go to the pub now? I'm a ghosty. And anyway, so as you might imagine, I ended up in a mental hospital then. 